Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another episode of Transfer Stories. This episode is really about one club but there are other clubs involved and that's why I've sort of mixed it up. But anyway, there's a lot to talk about so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first part I'm going to talk about is Ben Chalmwell. Now Ben Chalmwell has been linked with a move to Manchester United. Obviously we all know he's a left back. We all know he's an England international. And we all know that he is a very good player for Leicester. Ben Chalmwell to me, and this is no respect to Leicester whatsoever. But Ben to me is one of them players that probably does, you know, probably deserve not a bigger club. Just, you know, to play European football next season, which are Leicester doing just like the Champions League. But Ben, again, is, you know, a really good talent player for Leicester. I think if he does move, it'd be a big move for Ben. I'm hoping if he does go to United, if you say that he does get first team football, and I should imagine he will have no trouble getting into the first team at Manchester United. And just remember that Man United have just qualified for the Champions League for next season. So Man United are on a big rebuild on the west side of Manchester. But Ben to be moved to United is one of them things that I think will help Ben as well. But, you know, you've got to look at the lights of, you know, where will Ben play? Obviously he's a left back, his main position anyway. But who will come out of United? And I think one of them players could possibly be Luke Shaw or you know, one of their, you know, more experienced defenders. I think a lot of the, you know, teams in the Premier League now, roughly are going back to four at the back after B12 to three at the back. And you see where it does work and where it doesn't work. So, you know, the benefits of three at the back here, you get more in the field or attack. And where it doesn't work is the counter attack. It's a really big disadvantage. So it looks like Ben Chornwell could be moving to United this summer. It's made a from Watford has been linked to Liverpool. Now, it made a you know, he's main position is right wing, so the likes of Salah. He's 22 years old, so the likes of that matter of fact, he's still young. Club like Liverpool, I don't think it can wreck his career. I think you can only benefit it as well. So, you know, big boost to Liverpool this time and uh, Watford have been relegated as well. But I think this time around, play on the right to go to Liverpool. If you look at the young players Liverpool bringing throughout this many in time, it can only really help Liverpool and Salah. And, you know, it's a bit of a... Not mismatch, but real matchup, if you know what I mean. It can really have both parties. On the Liverpool perspective, they're getting a young Sigourney international. I hope I pronounced that country right. Apologies if I haven't. But then they've also got, you know, putting them on the bench and giving them a good run out and, you know, all these different things. But with the likes of 22 years of age, as I said, I think it can only help both parties. Uh, Ahmed, I'm, I'm just going to call him that because I don't know how to pronounce his second name. Joining Arsenal, you know, let's like on the verge of joining Arsenal um, from Ryan, funny enough. Arsenal, to me, and I said it in one of my other uh, transfer stories, Arsenal have really gone downhill over the past few years. But anyway, Ahmed's main position is a defence midfielder, so a position they really are looking for this window on my expectations and my opinion, I was supposed to say. But, you know, Ahmed, only 23 years of age yet again, still very young. A lot of these teams, especially around about these days, especially the likes of Liverpool, Manchester United, do go for the young and upcoming talent because they've already got their first team, you know, um, established. And then they're looking for the next generation of players to bring through the you know academy or under 23 for say. Emma does it like on his way to Arsenal. Well, I'm on the third first of all, they have completed the signing of William from Chelsea. Emma looks like he could be joining that powerful midfield this summer. So you know not 
too bad either. But Emma does look like he's on his way to ask Gabriel. Now, you all know who I'm on about. Arsenal have been linked within this window. Man United have appeared to join the battle. So, what do we know about Gabriel? Well, we already know he's a centre back and only a centre back. But, yet again, who's going to come out for Gabriel to fit in? Now, I've already said this quite a few times already. I think Rocco could be on his way out, and I think possibly another centre back. I can't quite remember his name, unfortunately. But please tell me who you think will come out of these clubs for these players to come in. I mean, you know, Brazilian international as well. So, Gabriel, Gabriel does it like he could be on the verge of either Arsenal or um, Manchester United. He has got caps for Brazil under 20s. So, the last of that happening, where do you think he'll end up? Arsenal, Man United, put it down in the comments below. Milan Skalak, sorry if I mispronounced your name in any way, I do apologise. Looks like he could be joining Tottenham to help with Jose Mourinho's centre back situation. For Tottenham, has already gone for Tottenham. They've already brought an another defender in, but I do look like they're gonna go after another one in Skalak. As I said, sorry if I mispronounced your name in any way, I might probably have somewhere across the line. But to add to Chelsea's, uh, not Chelsea, Tottenham's first team, it could only be a good move for him. He's only 25 years old as well, so he's, you know, near the peak of his career. Slovakia International, he's got 31 appearances for Slovakia as well. But, you know, the likes of Milan, going to Tottenham from Inter Milan as well so you know you really have got a perfect match there obviously I've already said in my, my transfer stories about going to um, Europe into England it can be a bit of a different game but it don't really work for defenders if you know what I mean because like, I don't do much skill in defending but you know Slovakia so International could be on his way to Tottenham this could only go pretty much up if he goes to Tottenham. Okay, Tottenham failed to qualify for Europa, uh, Europe, I think. But, you know, this can only be build Tottenham's, you know, problems at the back and obviously he's trying to help him to qualify Europe for this season on to next season. This season is literally going to be one of the best seasons I've enjoyed. But there's already been announced with no FA Cup replays. It's already been announced, you know, that few things got changed in this calendar year. I'm looking forward to it. The 12th of September is when it all kicks off, which is literally about 29 days away as I'm recording this. I have a cook joining Chelsea. I have covered this once already on my transfer stories. Have a cook after being knocked out of Champions League by Leverkusen. Bar Leverkusen have stated they are happy for him to leave. This could be one big move for Chelsea on their real building process of their young talent they got coming. They've already got the likes of Mason Mount in there and you know they've got a few upcoming players coming through. They've all got Tom Wenner who I was trying to think of but you know Havocook joined Chelsea definitely does look on the card for Chelsea and have a to go to Chelsea. This player could be a masterclass for Chelsea next season. The only one way to find out is wait till next season and see how he performs from in the Premier League. Obviously it's a big difference going to Bundesliga to the Premier League or anywhere else in Europe to the Premier League and see where players struggle. But I think he might have quite a good season at Chelsea, but as I said, the only one way to find out. United, Jack Greenlish, holding talks with United. Now, Jack Greenlish, there's been a lot of speculation about Jack this season, uh, this transfer window alone. There uh, always is, um, you know, talk going around Jack Greenlish, which is not to be out of order to, to Jack, but he's all, he's not saying he wants to leave, but he is. Been, you know, but apparently he's in talks with United. I think it would be a bad move for Jack if he does that, considering the real calibre squad they got going on at United at this present in time. 
I've been mean, if he does go to United, then fa fair play to him, good luck to him. But I think he might be a bit of a bad move for him. But apparently he's in talks with United, so watch out for this one. Thiago. Now, Thiago, I spoke about him in Liverpool in my last transfer story video. There's a part of my thumbnail in my last transfer story video. Apparently, they had a bid for Manchester City, uh, Barmina come on about, for Thiago, and he rejected it. Fair play for Thiago. I think it would be a brilliant midfielder if Thiago joined, but he does it like more he wants to join Liverpool than any other club. Which is fair enough, obviously Liverpool are the champions of the Premier League and he probably, probably thinks he can fit in there a bit more, which I'll probably think he can. There's no, dis no disrespect to Liverpool's squad at this main time either. Right, McNeil, sorry for this bit of shame, I might probably have someone across the line. He's got interest from Leicester. Now, he's only 20 years of age, so he still is very young. His current club is Burnley. I'm not sure about first team appearances, but, you know, Leicester do want him, which yet again can only boost his career and Leicester get some up coming talent coming through. But, he plays on the left, so I'm trying to think he plays on the left for Leicester. Likes of Harvey Barnes and but as I said, he's only 20 years of age, so he still is very young indeed. And with the likes of, you know, Dwight going to Leicester, as I said, can only boost his hopes for the likes of, you know, playing Europa League football. Leicester in Europa League next season. So, but I do think that Manil going to Leicester could only be good money for both parties. So, but anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do. So, big for fun, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.